you'll be so excited to watch this tutorial on how I achieved this hologram effect on phone editing on CapCut app because I bet you I teach what a layman understands. I know you already know I have one very special relationship with CapCut app. Now I said this tutorial it is very simple. Just shoot yourself scrolling through your phone and later or at the same time you can shoot your you can screen record your phone i mean your phone screen and then we'll dive into the CapCut app but before then chase and belinda here again don't forget to support my channel by subscribing if you're new and if you're old or new please i'm not a proud person be cool agile please help me like this video don't forget to share to someone that needs it comment probably saying thank you i enjoyed the tutorial or probably tell me something you want to learn in my next video okay then let's go so guys, I'm going to make this tutorial very, very snappy. Let's get right into the CapCut app and then you go to new project. Pick your video. Okay, this is the video where you're actually recording yourself, pressing your phone. You bring it in and the next you want to do is overlay. Hit on overlay and bring in the next video where you screen recorded your screen. Just whatever it is you want to screen record. So this is me screen recording Instagram explore page and i bring it right right in i would want to move it move it so i can actually see what i'm doing so i would move it to this angle adjust it properly to fit where your phone is and the next you would want to do is go to mask this tutorial is going to be very snappy i promise that i'm trying my best to make it all fast go to mask and then get to mask you go to mirror this is what i actually like to use then i would um, increase it increase it increase it yep increase it then adjust the feather by clicking this and moving it adjust the feather adjust the feather and you can keep just adjust the feather so it looks really nice the next i'll go to is opacity i hit on opacity and i'll just reduce to maybe let's do 70 is totally fine once we get it to 70 we we'll get it up there and the next you want to do is click on the overlay and we are going to be using key frames so this is a trick here guys you hit on the key frame and then you adjust it in totally and move it down 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 look at where i moved it to move it adjust it totally yes yeah, so it starts from in there close to your phone where it's not really visible and the next you do is move it a little bit again click on keyframe again and increase it a bit increase it a bit move again increase move it again move it move it just adjust it increase again adjust properly so it's touching your phone top exactly then you move again and you adjust <laughs> now this is the simple trick this is a very simple simple trick adjust it to fit to your phone then you move again and you move it adjust it and increase it increase it then you move it again and increase this part time around to fit into the screen so you're doing this for like one two three four five times so let's see how this looks so we brought our screen out so you will keep using your keyframe to adjust your screen whenever you move your hands whenever you move your hands so you move and keep watching okay it moved again so you're going to just adjust this is a trick you're going to adjust uh you keep moving did it then you adjust again 
so it looks authentic you are just again just again please please just keep adjusting it I, I bet you would want to keep watching this video so you don't miss any steps so you don't miss any of the steps so this is it it moved again you would want to adjust you would want to definitely have an accurate video so i think i bet this is your best tutorial on how to get this hologram effect so guys anything is possible in CapCut app trust me anything is possible with your smartphone so you just keep adjusting it keep adjusting it keep adjusting keep your adjustments going So you see, it's just about adjusting your cue frame. There's a part where it's really moved, like this side. What you do when it comes to... Okay, let's just go. Keep adjusting it, guys. I'll walk you through this. I'll, I did this video with me. Oh, I did this video with you. Sorry. <laughs> Keep adjusting. Moved again. Adjust again. Moved again. Adjust again moved again adjust don't always forget to adjust you guys move you adjust and that like seems to be the end you cut out the leftover cut it off then what you want to do seeing that you're getting to the end you hit your keyframe again here and you start reducing okay this is it hit your keyframe again you reduce you reduce and you hit your keyframe again you reduce and move it and you hit that again and you reduce it again and you heat it again that is the final step you move it all in in down here so it is accurate wow i know you love this guys <laughs> I know you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe if you're new. <laughs> I hope you like this video and I hope you're going to share this video and I hope you're also going to drop a comment, of course. Thank you and see you in my next video. Mwah.